Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Spec coming at you, and uh, today I wanted to do another informative video. Um, not really on Charizard himself, but more on his control layout and the best way to utilize Charizard via your button schemes. So I'm gonna show you what I use, and um, you know, you might agree, you might disagree that it's the best, but hey. I'm just gonna show you regardless. So right now we're gonna go into games and more. We're gonna go to options, uh, controls. And um, I'm just gonna create a new one. So, Zard, the Zard. All right, <clears throat> so this is a brand new tag. That means um, all the controls are gonna be standard. I use the GameCube controller. I've always used the GameCube controller since Melee, I've been playing Smash almost my whole life. Always used the GameCube controller. I think it's the best for competitive play, more advanced play. Um, I like the wired controller because it has no input lag or anything. So, I mean, a lot of people fuck with the gamepad and the pro controller. I don't think anyone uses this bullshit. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people actually use the 3DS, which is kind of funny, but whatever. Um, so we're gonna go on my GameCube controller settings here. Um, like I said, everything is untouched. This is standard Super Smash Bros. 4 controllers, right? Or controls right here. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is turn off these two: Mid Smash Rumble and Tab Jump. This has nothing to do with gameplay. Mid Smash Rumble, it just prevents your controller from vibrating, and I like that because um, the vibration actually damages your controller over time. So I always turn it off. Um, tab jump is important for gameplay. Definitely want to have tab jump off. Um, what tab jump does is it lets you jump with your control stick. But if you turn it off, if you press up, you will not jump. So it will be it's easier to do up tilts because you can just hold the stick straight up. You don't have to tilt it slightly and then press A. You can just do your up tilts immediately. And it also prevents you from wasting jumps as Charizard. And when you're Charizard, your jumps are sacred. So I turn off tab jump just to prevent that from ever happening. Um, yeah. So anyways, um, usually I shield grab with A, with A and R. However, I also map my Y button to grab as well. And I do this because it's easier for me to do pivot grabs and dash grabs with Y as opposed to Z. And here's why, because my index finger is always on the shield button, and for whatever reason, I just can't seem to teach myself to slide my index finger onto the Z button when I want to grab. But since my thumb is always on the X button because I jump with X, um, when I jump with, sorry, something just really distracted me. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, when I. I jump with X so I can slide my, my thumb right over to the Y button when I want to pivot grab or dash grab, uh, get that clutch ass up throw to win a game, you know? So I keep it on grab. Also, um, it's way easier to tech, in my opinion, with, with Y. If you set your Y button to grab, you can tech with Y. And I just think that the timing is a lot more precise with Y as opposed to R. But anyways, um, now this... This is um, something that I do specifically just for Charizard. All these other um, inputs I usually use on all my characters except for Peach because I actually float with Y. But this button right here, your shield button L, um, you're gonna wanna map that to jump. And here's why. When you do Charizard sliding rock smash, um, it's way, way easier to do if you map your jump button to L. And I'll show you actually right what that looks like. So we're gonna go into test. Oh, this isn't even fuck. This is fucking Mario. I forgot that we weren't even. Oh my god. So we're gonna. <laughs> I'll show you guys what I mean. Alright. We'll go into training real quick. How you guys doing today? I'm doing alright. I got fucking work at 5 30. 5 30 East Coast time. I live in Virginia, so. I'm a server. Anyways. So we're gonna go into here, and I'm just gonna show you real quick what I mean by using the jump button as L. So to perform a sliding rock smash, you have to jump, 
hit, and then as soon as you jump, you have to hit rock smash, and then uh, immediately hit forward. And with the jump button, it's really, or if your jump button isn't mapped to Y, it's really hard to, um, to pull off because it's just harder f to slide your thumb from X to B and do it properly. But if you do it with L, it's right there. See? Uh, it's still kind of hard to do. Oh, there we go. That was a reverse sliding rock smash. Yeah, see? So that's an advanced Charizard technique that you guys can get into. Sliding rock smash. So what you want to do is hit L and then down B and then immediately hit forward. Like back to back to back. And sometimes... Sometimes you get... There we go. Alright, I think I got it now. Um, I don't really use that technique that much, but it's something I should get more into. Um, but it's definitely something you guys can pick up, and uh, I just thought I would show you all today because it's good to know at least. I mean, even if you don't use it or you can't do it, it's, it's good to, to know. And it's a good thing to work toward, you know, as you develop your Charizard. So yeah, guys, um, that's all I got for you today. Uh, fuck you, Ryu. I was kidding, Ryu's cool. I'm gonna pick up Ryu actually. I think he's gonna be my secondary. Cause he's fun as shit. But I have to put a lot of work into him. Anyways, um I will see you guys I guess tomorrow. I'll probably have another video tomorrow. Um But yeah, just uh Thank you for the support and for watching. I'm sorry I'm like someone is like really distracting me right now. But whatever. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys later. Deuces.